Well, ladies and gentlemen, Shark and Orr present three three minute rounds in the amateur flyweight division. And in the red corner, with a record of six wins and one defeat, weighing in at 125.4 pounds, representing combat jiu jitsu from Terry, Northern Ireland, Matthew Hell Guapo. Two defeats, weighing in at 125 pounds even. Flying out of Manhattan's Rafram Brackle Shambe. Tommy the Cheese Glow. White trim, absolutely huge following for Tommy Clark here at the Portsmouth Build Hall. He's got a tough opponent though in Friel, who's uh, one of the Irish contingent that have come over here. Friel's a uh, Irish BGJ champion. Also got uh, one belts in other amateur promotions. So. Uh, yeah. Well, it's fast and furious so far. And Clark, it looks like he's not wasting any time at all. Looking to take the back early, and he does. Let's see if he can secure this position. Yeah, he's tough here. Oh, what a moment of the throw already. This could be over early. 
Friel survives the first attempt. Will he survive the second? It's close right now. It's real close. Just got to secure it. Yeah. Good scramble. Really good scramble, but he's in, you know, he's mounted now. Yes, buddy! Oh, very nice. He's changed position around, just like that. Beautiful stuff from Matthew Friel. But the legs already going to work for Clark. Yeah, it looks like a mission control position Clark's going for. He, we know how dangerous he is with the, in this position. You know, he can throw up triangles like it's nobody's business. And there he goes. The thing is, the arm, you know, he could attack the arm. There he goes with the Omo Plata. Very tough to finish, but a good job from Frill to get back to the guard there. Yeah, usually when you're looking at those armor platters, it's used more of a sweep in MMA than it is a submission, but you know, stranger things have happened. We have seen Just them pulled off before. Yes! Make a pay, no! Make a pay! And uh, you might be mistaken in thinking we've got an extra member at the commentary booth. It's just Frill's corner. Looking for that straight ankle lock there with Friel. This is a, this is a really well matched fight, actually. These guys really giving it to each other. Yeah, both these guys, yes! similar ages, 21 is Clark, 20 is Friel. Similar record, 6 and 1 for Friel, 5 and 2 for Clark. And it really has been reflected in the action we're seeing in the cage too. Very, very well matched young man. Just money, yes! Looks like that's the end of the round. Wow, great, great rounds. It did not stop. Dangerous situations from both sides, really. It's a difficult one to score as well. Both guys had their moments in it. You know, yeah. A real difficult one to score. Yeah, I mean, two more rounds just like that, please. I'd be more than happy to watch that all night. Just watch out for them underhooks. You know, when he gets some underhooks in, then you, then you can't go to the back. You don't take gun shit out, really. Big boss in. Yeah, so always fighting for that. Anytime there's a hustle to get to the back. In the guard, yeah, he's giving you the triangle a little bit, but you need to stuff his hands. Stuff his hands, yeah? Striking, absolutely perfect. He's falling over his feet. Yeah, he's falling over his feet. Just be there to capitalise on it, alright? Strike more. Yeah? Strike more. Strike. Yeah, your strike is good enough, but I want you to move in and out, alright? Good luck. Sure. A very happy corner team there. Over with Tommy Clark. Happy with the craft and happy with the striking. Asked for a little bit more in and out movement. Let's, go, Let's see if he can put that into practice in the second frame. Andy Nichols getting it back underway. Oh, that's a big shot from Clark. He's got the hips. Gets the takedown. Beautiful stuff early in the second round from Clark. Yeah, we get to see uh, Friel's guard game now. seemed to look for the leg attacks a couple of times on the ground in that first round so that might be something for Clark just to keep an eye on yeah I mean the thing is in Jiu Jitsu at the moment leg locks are, are everything it's all the rage and I wouldn't be surprised you know in the next few years if we see more of it well we have already you know um, but you know more of a leg lock game more of a heel hook um, game brought into MMA Tommy Clark looking comfortable on top, trying to step over the head here. Yes, come out the back door. Really oh, sure fighting him all the way. Yes, Great chest match between these two so far. Both trying to figure each other out. Oh, there he goes, looking for a knee bar. He's got to be very careful here. He can't use any kind of twisting lock on the 
on the legs. He's got the, the straight ankle lock or a knee bar, pretty much. Yeah, straight, straight ankle lock for both guys. <laughs> Who's going to get it, if any? Shades of Ken I mean, Shamrock and Don Fry here. I mean, that is tight. I mean, if he can go belly down. Clark's lost his one. Oh, and he gets on top. He opts to go on top. It's a good move from Tommy Clark. Yes, work of yard now. Wow. High drama here at the Guildhall. Clark's going to be wary of the up kicks from this position. Yeah, this is, this is the thing with the leg locks. It's kind of a battle of who gets up first who's going to get the top position. It doesn't matter as much in uh, jiu-jitsu, but in MMA. Oh, toe hold here. Yeah, that was a toe hold, right? The body shot's illegal. So well, would the toe hold be allowed under the amateur uh, I, I, I may have think to get some clarification on that yeah, one I mean, it's one of officials. It is a twisting yeah. leg lock, so. High level stuff between these two though. Only 20 and 21 years old. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it. They look like they've been in the, the cage, you know, for some amount of time. Yeah, really mature performance from both these young guys. And, you know, there's been some uh, hairy moments there with submissions coming pretty close. That battle of the straight ankle locks that we saw in the second round. So fair play for both these guys. They've stayed calm, they've stayed collected. Yeah, I mean, at this level, it's not something you want to tap to, really, straight ankle lock. You, you, you don't want that to happen, but I just wonder about the about the, the toe holds. I mean, it, it only kind of went on for a second, but you're not allowed to, as far as I know, you're not allowed to, to attempt it, so... Okay. Let's go. Oh, we are about to get the third and final round underway. And the crowd here in Portsmouth, absolutely phenomenal for this one as they have been all night. But there's a lot this of support in the yours, building Matthew. for Tommy Clark. This is yours. Final round underway, touch your gloves. Oh, it's a play ball here. Creel's corner, calling for him to chop the leg. Changes levels though, nice takedown. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Almost setting up a Gogo Plata. That's Tommy Clark. And there he, he goes. Trying to set the Gogo Plata. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one of those amateur MMA before. Incredible flexibility from Clark. Yeah, some tenth planet action there. I mean, if anything, this is just a really good position to stop the, the guy on top from striking, or, or at least getting a, you know, a decent strike. Oh, could be a triangle position. Oh, he sets it up. He's, Beautiful he's stuff. Doing the right thing and stepping over. But he's got to be careful with his arm. Clark can go for the arm. Needs to get it straightened out. Try to tuck oh, it in. Oh, he gets in. What oh. a fight. What a performance. And what a victory for Tommy Clark. The whole of the building just off their feet. And rightly so. Wow. I mean, he looked really good in there. It was very aggressive from the start. Very impressed. Both those guys put up valiant performances, you know. It goes against what a lot of people say, but neither of them, you know, will be disappointed with that or should be disappointed going home. Oh, 100%. It was fantastic. Clark, fantastic. You know, a lot to learn from and uh, a really, really great matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Fact. You know, I'd watch those guys fight every day of the week if I could, twice on Sunday. Real, certainly nothing to be ashamed of with that showing. Tom Clark. Take a bow, my friend. What a performance that was. That was a great fight. Ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, referee Andy Nichols calls stop the contest at one minute and 13 seconds of round three. For your winner by armbar, Tommy the Cheese Thank you, no! It ain't easy to achieve. <laughs>